Graded Card Investor. What's going on guys, it's Matt with GradedCardInvestor.com back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna cover the top 15 highest selling recently sold sports cards from 1995. This list could literally consist of nothing but Michael Jordan inserts. However, I wanted to include a little bit of everything. I wanted to include Hall of Fame players and potential Hall of Fame players, both low end and high end stuff. If you guys wanna see the Michael Jordan cards, I got plenty of videos out there, Michael Jordan cards from the 90s, Kevin Garnett rookie cards, I got lists out there, go check them out. For now, let's just focus on rookie cards, Hall of Fame players, and potential Hall of Fame players, and maybe a couple of inserts or two. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this list. Starting off the list at number 15 is a 1995 Upper Deck SP Warren Sapp rookie card number 99, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current PSA 10 population of 179, with around 550 submitted to PSA so far, sold at auction on May 24th for $112. Warren Sapp's a Hall of Fame defense of tackle seven-time Pro Bowl, one-time Super Bowl champ. For a lineman, I think everybody knows Warren Sapp. So I was pretty amazed to see that this Upper Deck SP card with only 179 is selling for about $100. I thought about picking up my one myself. There are lots of Warren Sapp cards out there. There's some base tops you can consider if you guys want to pick up some Sapp cards. He played for the Buccaneers and the Oakland Raiders. Coming in at number 14 is a 1995 Upper Deck SP Derek Brooks rookie card, number 103, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current PSA 10 population of 179 similar to the sap with around 450 submitted sold at auction on june 10th for 123 dollars same case goes for Derek brooks hall of fame linebacker one time super bowl champ 11 time pro bowler these cards are real slick guys you can get boxes of these for around 100 dollars on ebay right now pull a ton of hall of fame player rookie cards both Two of them are from Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Derek Brooks and Warren Sapp. Coming in at number 13 is a 1995 SP Top Prospects Carlos Beltran Rookie Card number 111, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current PSA 10 population of 23 with 219 submitted so far, sold at auction on May 23rd for $127. The verdict is still out on this guy, if he's going to get to the Hall of Fame or not, he's eligible in 2023. He does have one championship, 2017, however that is the year he, he was caught cheating essentially, had it not been for him cheating, we all know Know, he probably would have been a definite shoe in we'll see what happens in 2023 his debut in the mlb wasn't until 1998 however these are some prospect cards his early cards to consider picking up now definitely for dirt cheap prices coming in at number 12 is a 1995 upper deck sp terrell davis rookie card number 130 graded psa 10 gem mint condition current psa 10 population of 300 with just over 6,000 of these cards submitted to psa so far only 300 were found in psa 10 condition sold at auction on may 24th for 208 dollars terrell davis hall of fame running back insane running back he only played seven years and he made it into the hall of fame within those seven years very impressive had it not been for injuries he definitely would have been in my opinion one of the greatest running backs of all time coming in at number 11 1995 Upper Deck SP Curtis Martin Rookie Card Number 18 Graded PSA 10 Gem Mint Condition Current Population of Only 92 PSA 10s With Just Shy of a Thousand of These Cards Submitted So Far Sold At Auction On April 22nd For $228 I Think The Price Tag On This Is Reflecting The Rarity So Only 92 Of These But If It Were Between Curtis Martin And Terrell Davis I Would, I would Go With The TD Card And uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm Surprised That The Curtis Martin Sells For More Coming in at number 10 is a 1995 Bowman's Best Andrew Jones Rookie Card Number 7, Great PSA 10, Gem Mint Condition, Current Population of 371, with the round 3300 submitted so far, sold at auction on June 4th for $260. Andrew Jones, considered one of the greatest defensive players of all time, he's in his fourth year on the Hall of Fame ballot. His percentages haven't been too great the first two years, however, he has seen an increase up to 16%, I believe. Will he make it into the Hall of Fame? That's to be determined. But 95 Bowman's Best, great card, great set. Second year Bowman's Best, definitely a card to consider picking up. Even a PSA 9, I think, would be cool. Coming in at number 9 is 1995 Bowman's Best, Vladimir Guerrero, rookie card number 2. Graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current population of 380, with around 
5,500 submitted so far. Sold at auction on June 17th for $375. Hall of Fame player, nine-time All-Star, MVP, and father of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. His cards are on fire right now, selling for multiple thousands of dollars. So I think collectors are wanting to buy Vladdy Sr. and Vladdy Jr. and having a father-son duo in their collection. Great photo, great looking card. 90s collectors, you gotta have this one. Coming in at number eight is a 1995 Panini Calciatore Gianluigi Buffon rookie card number 228, graded PSA 8, near mint to mint condition, current population of only 10 PSA 8s, eight nines and one ten. Only 32 have been submitted so far. Sold at auction on June 25th, $567. Buffon is considered the one of the best goalies of all time. His fan base is pretty big. I think that his this card is undervalued right now. You can find him in the 1995 Panini Calciatore sticker packs. Coming in at number seven is 1995 Finest Kevin Garnett Rookie Card number 115, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current population of 450, with around 2,400 submitted so far, sold at auction on June 19th for $709. This card was the go-to card before the hobby explosion, and I think it's going to be for many years to come. However, there are a bunch of other options out there, but because of the consistency of this card, I decided to include it on this list. So Kevin Garnett Rookie Cards, he's a Hall of Fame, NBA 90s trash talking guys love him guys hate him I like to collect Kevin Garnett I got a bunch of his cards it's 95 finest it's always been the go-to and I think it's always going to be in the top three top two maybe uh, Kevin Garnett rookie cards to invest in Coming in at number six is 1995 Finest Boosters Jerry Rice Refractor with Coating number 185, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current population of only one refractor with the coating, with 15 submitted in total, with coating without coating, 20 six cards have been submitted very hard to come by in a psa case these boosters were inserted in the regular issue tops packs i believe they were inserted in the 95 finest boxes i believe they were considered promos for the finest sets correct me if i'm wrong in the comments below coming in at number five is 1995 panini super calcios roberto carlos rookie sticker number 55 graded psa 10 gem mint condition current population of only two with only six submitted to psa so far sold at auction on may 26 for $760. Coming in at number four, 1995 Topps Finest Derek Jeter Rookie Card number 271, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current population of only 42 with only 132 submitted to PSA so far, sold at auction on June 8th for $1,020. This is 1995 lots of debate on whether or not it's Derek Jeter rookie card or not since 93 is considered his rookie year however he didn't debut in MLB until 95 I think was around the time this set was released it is one of his early cards I'm not sure if you want to call it a rookie card minor league card or prospect card call it whatever you want to call it it's an early Derek Jeter card and gem mint 10 very low population tough to grade guys coming in at number three is 1995 Mundi Cromo Copa America Ronaldo rookie number 59 graded PSA 4 very very good to excellent condition population of only seven with only 32 submitted so far sold at auction on march 27th for three thousand two hundred dollars ronaldo one of the greatest footballers of all time man his cards just keep popping up all from all years you can't go wrong with any of his stuff coming in at number two is a 1995 Raven David Beckham Manchester United Red Devils rookie card number 10 graded PSA 10 gem mint condition only 85 PSA 10 so far with only 130 submitted this card is limited to just 500 copies sold at auction on April 30th for $4,200 David Beckham lots of cards coming out in 1995 if you guys have any David Beckham cards I don't care what it is it should be considered as a grading candidate his cards are collectible and valuable coming in at number Number one is a 1995 Finest Michael Jordan Refractor, number 229, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current population of only 17 without the coating, sold at auction on June 19th for $7,000. $100. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this list could literally contain all Michael Jordan insert cards. However, I wanted to have a diverse list. If you guys want to check out the Michael Jordan cards from this, this era, this, these years, go check out my videos on my channel. I got lots of Michael Jordan content and I got lots more videos to come. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and give the video a thumbs up. Appreciate it guys. I'll see you on the next video.